There's a new type of content in HR Light Studio Carbon Drop 2 and it's called Box Gradient. We've got a rect light that we've just put onto here and let's use the new box gradient on alpha multiply which is a, a great use of this new content. So we turn on alpha multiply and by default we get box gradient. So what is box gradient? It's essentially a blend of a horizontal and vertical ramp. So here we've got an X ramp and a Y ramp. And if I start to adjust the pegs on this ramp, you can see how this is kind of softening that particular edge. So here we're using it to control the alpha. So we're actually able to soften each edge of this light to give it a, a much nicer look. Where if we turn this off, you'll see that it has a infeasibly hard edge and it's absolutely too perfect. Where if we turn this on, we now have this control to soften this edge. So these are the default pegs that are on this ramp, which are quite useful because it basically gives you what you need to play with the softness of each of these edges. So as I drag these around, you can see how it works. Now if I make this ramp totally white, that helps us isolate to see what is actually happening. So this ramp here, as you see it, is being ramped onto here. And as I move the peg on this side, it softens this side, because we're basically looking at the light uh, back to front, essentially, in this view. Um, so as I move that around, it, it, it kind of, it can soften it, or we could create a much harder edge. Uh, so that is happening horizontally. And then if we make all the pegs on here, go to white, we'll essentially end up with solid white. So we'll, we'll, it will be like there's no effect at all because there's no um, blackness or darkness that is going to control the alpha. So here we can actually start changing the pegs on here and taking those back to the black. And you can edit these using the graph as well. You don't have to do it directly on there. And if we wanted to say double click and add a point and drag that down, you can see that we've basically got the ramp going uh, top to bottom from here. So these are essentially blended together um, to give you the overall effect. So we can actually do all sorts with this. as you can see. But really the primary purpose of it is to create that lovely softness uh, in the alpha um, on the edges. So if we get an image-based light, drop that on, scale that up, and we may decide we really like the, the character of this light, but we wanna get rid of these dark edges. We can turn on alpha multiply and choose box gradient. And then we could play with the values here. So it's easier to see actually if I change to HSVA so we can see the alpha. And then if I move this peg here, move that peg, we're kind of affecting now the top and softness of the top and bottom. So I'm kind of moving up where that soft part is. Um, so if you turn that off, you've got those black edges and then using this in the alpha and we've adjusted it, we can basically get rid of those edges with a nice amount of softness. Another useful um, purpose of this is if you have got a reflection and you're seeing some pixelation in a, in a hard edge, uh, it's quite nice to be able to use this to kind of soften it a little and it can get rid of pixelation issues as well. So it's totally valid to use a box gradient as a main source of content because it can create a really interesting looking light. So if I choose box gradient, we can just kind of start to drag these points around. So we've kind of got a graduation from darker to lighter 
there. And then we could say, do the same thing top to bottom there. And on this ramp, we could turn the log on to kind of get, I think I'll prefer that off actually. But we can change the interpolation as well. So I mean that that's a really interesting and nice graduation of light. So it's almost like a slightly soft focus and like some light is coming in here and kind of graduating off. But to say that that character of that light is set basically by the two ramps blended together, uh, it's a really lovely way to create some content. So that's the box gradient in HDR Light Studio Carbon Drop 2.